Yeah, let's get started. Uh, I got crowd control the major tom. Doesn't really play much rank ranked, but plays a uh, premium town of quick play. So let's just get into the rank and get a little insight. So composition wise, I really don't like the TF top. Either gonna be a really bad or That's it, really bad or, or question mark, right? And as you can see, 6.57. Do we dodge the TF top? Probably not in this day and age, but you'll probably never see another TF top. And if you do see a TF top on the other team, you're most likely probably going to win. So that's just the way I see it. Got the new scar in there so this guy's probably just throwing right so it was like you got the tf top but luckily you got the guy first timing scar in there so kind of the, the the balance can't cancel it out you got you just kind of got lucky there right this guy could have easily been just feeding all game right and you just have to keep that in mind when you play solo queue you're going to be getting picks or teammates that suck big balls can't do anything about it just have to play well and in this game this seems like the one second big balls is just straight up just bot lane maybe the jungle a little bit but we'll take a look at that one and then this one again you're gonna be seeing strange picks i think i think uh yasuo is an instant dodge if you have yasuo on your team you need to dodge so it's Especially low ELO, it's gonna be a score like this. Unless the guy links his account and shows shows you uh 30 wins, five losses, Yasuo player, I wouldn't I would never uh, trust the Yasuo player on my team. And then similarly with Jace. But you don't really see Jace that often and, and Jace has gotten better throughout the years, so definitely try to dodge if you see Yasuo, try to dodge Yasuo. You see Jace and Yasuo on your team, you need to instantly dodge. And well, let's just get into this game. So perfect, we can still view it. So what I like to do is I go to overview and look at all the the jumps, right? There's a big spike here, big spike here, big spike here, big spike here. And look at, like, before a big spike, am I dying? Am I the one starting the spike, you know? Right here. LeBlanc kills Leona and Rengar. Spikes up a little bit. But it goes back down immediately, so okay, okay. And then right here, seems like there's a big fight here. Nothing too... This game just seems... Seems pretty interesting. Maybe there was a big throw or something, but you did die a lot. You don't start dying until thirteen minutes. Alright, well, 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 let's just look at it. This, this, this game looks a little bit strange. Usually, the graphs don't look like that in solo queue. Aftershock against Lux. Maybe, maybe there could be other options against the ranged support that likes to poke a lot. But seems like we're just taking Aftershock. Master Tier, I uh, just pure Aftershock. They just pure. This guy goes uh, Glacial Masters as well. So there is there is options to... He goes pure, pure Glacial, which is really interesting. This guy's in a game right now. And this guy's pure Aftershock. So this guy's probably the better player. And, and he switches up... Um, does he go Ultimate Hat? No. He goes Ignis, Hunter, Deep Shot. Interesting, interesting. So these are these are the things that you have to learn and look look at and learn as a player. 
who wants to get better. If you're not already looking at the pro players or high level players that are way higher than you and not taking from them, you're making a really, really big mistake as a player. These players are uh, looking for edges and they're finding their edges. That's why they're at these high level of play playing, playing here, right? But yeah, aftershock, aftershock pier seems like it's proper. There is glacial. There's there's a there's room for glacial, but I think it's uh, very matchup wise. Maybe against like a Tom Kench or something. <laughs> Just theorizing at that point. Looking here, 15 seconds. Are you running out of base? Yes, you are. Do we invade? Hmm. I like to look for invades in solo queue because usually the, the usually in solo queue people are not defending properly, but your composition doesn't really like invades that much, and their enemy composition has a lot of stuff that can just destroy us, right? This champ, this champ, thinks with their resets. I don't know. I don't like to invade. That invade here, but usually I like to invade. I like to invade a lot, actually. Good coverage, good coverage. Seems like it's fine. We're giving a leash. Yeah, that's fine. If your jungler starts the other side, and just remember, we're start, we're probably looking to start here with our ADC and then getting some pokes in, setting up the lane like that. Every every time we can find advantage, we're taking it pretty much. You want the early level two, right? So like, throughout this entire lane phase, you have to be using your auto attacks more on the minions to push the lane and get that get that level uh, level two earlier. Not necessarily push the lane, because if you push it too far, then you can't all in, right? But when the when the second wave crashes here, you have to be consciously thinking about how I can be hitting these minions. In order to get early level two and then immediately latching on and then winning lane from there, right? You gotta hit this, you gotta hit, you know, you could hit this one. But yeah, but when we're playing like this passively and not actively trying to get that level two, especially on Leona, we're making a really, really big mistake because games can literally be won in the first two minutes when you're playing a champ like Leona, right? Now we're trading into a big wave one, two, Three, four, five. That's five. Five melees. Each one does 24, right? So we're taking 120 per. How much HP you have? Six, 690, right? So, like, this guy only has 420, right? So, don't trade into big waves. And why aren't we getting level two before we're trading, right? We're. we're Taking really bad trades unnecessarily, and we could have, we could have been in a spot where we're level two trading into them, winning the lane, as opposed to we're level one, um, getting getting creamed. Yeah, uh, this word right here, I just disagree with this word. You don't need to place it. I feel like you just placed it out of. I'm I'm gonna place a word just because. I think you should be saving that word for. Maybe even placing it here because they're going to be playing aggressive on you. But I just don't, I don't think this is a good ward for, for right now. Unless this ward can spot the scuttle scrap, the scuttle crab that spawns soon, then it's an okay ward. But I don't think you placed it in the sense of spotting scuttle. So I'm going to just leave it at that. <laughs> So 50% of the time, Fizz kills LeBlanc. 50% of the time, LeBlanc kills Fizz. So you don't care about that. It's whatever. So yeah, we're just playing. We're on the back foot the entire time now because we lost too much HP. And if we do go in now, probably most likely going to die. But we just have to wait for a jungle camp. But jungle's on the top side of the map because he started bot side. And we're pretty much shit out of luck, right? We're in a... Bobby against players that are barely, barely not that good, but we can't take advantage of them for some god awful reason. Look at this guy, hard stuck silver. Look at this guy. 
basically basically the same. You know I'm saying you're you're way better than these guys. Way fucking better than these. Guys. You just have to find. You just have to understand how to get a, the advantage, right? And honestly, like the solo queue, it's so much of it is the early game, right? Not about what we did wrong at sixteen minutes when it becomes a fucking shit show, shit show palooza, right? What we can be doing in the first five, six, seven, eight minutes to win the game right there, and then when we gain, when we have that gold advantage, we go into the mid game already pretty much winning the game of course there's gonna be long games where it's up and down up and down up and down but most of the time solo queue should be um aggression early aggression shifting towards a, a quick end we're not trying to play 40 minute games with fucking randoms and silver it's just not how we win games in this uh solo queue Trying to make the enemies flame and quit. Flame and quit. Quick and next. So yeah, here but here now now it's a spot where it's like, okay, we need that word now. This is a good good time just to place it. Okay, we see Rengar here. So keep it like when you're playing support, keep in mind that Rengar is gonna be going here. Maybe we, maybe we can assist them here. Maybe not. It's up. Yeah, I like your movement here a lot. I'd avoid the try here because this is all covered already. No, oh. that's a good word right there. Yep, yep, yep. That is all fine. All fine. Yeah, play back, play back. Let them push the wave in. Don't get too. This guy got too impatient here. Nothing you can do about it, but really good. That that's just. Really good job, really good job, really good follow. -up. Nothing to say about that. All I can say is that I think I think personally you should be way more ahead right now, or at least been in a situation in which you had the opportunity to get way more ahead. I like and dislike this play. So this is the, the so this is the play here. Okay, pink, and then we wait. Okay, why do we wait? Why do we wait? So multiple factors. First factor is the most obvious factor for me is that LeBlanc has distortion W plus R. So she can go poof and then poof over the wall. Gone. Can't do anything about that. Looking at her spells, distortion, ultimate up. So there is nothing we can do other than wait for her to pop her spell. And then we go in easily. Biz is probably gonna hit six on this wave. We probably don't know that, but we also know it's a big wave. Fizz is low. We got we kind of just want to let him crash the wave in, conceal our presence, and if she does use her distortion and her R for some reason, trying to maybe trying to kill him under turret, or she's getting cocky or greedy because she doesn't know you're here. It's Gucci. So and the next level, next level play is we're timing our gank with Rengar. While we're pinging, ping, ping, ping on my way. And we're pinging him as, where, as well to alert him. Right, so this is the next next level play where we're directing the map. And we're anticipating this uh, gank happening. And boom, all, all of this discussion is now just down the drain. So I hope hopefully I outlined a very important aspect of uh, ganking. Playing around your jungle. Playing around vision and playing around around the wave, right? So now, like, look, look imagine if we we uh, played a little bit differently. Now, moving ahead, moving ahead, moving ahead. I want to see more of your play. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try to keep this one a little bit shorter. I just wanna I want I wanna see more replay. Hopefully you play more ranked and hopefully this help. Yeah, I'm I'm liking this, but it's just just a little, little bit too late. Like I I'm skipping ahead, but let's let's slow it down, look at it. Take a good look at it. We really we really want the lane 
be pushed up a little bit further so when we do go all in they can't go to the safety of the turret liking our wards very nice wards here see, so by standing here and not letting these guys attack these minions you're essentially keeping the wave right here you don't want to you don't want that right so have a little bit more patience with the wave right let it let it push out right so if it if you let these guys push out i can almost assure you the wave would have met right here or right here as opposed to right here right here this is a minute difference but this is a great distance and if anything extra is a tremendous distance so keep that in mind and then a challenger player once told me yo mantis never trade into cannon wave because the cannon deals too much damage right so once you understand the concept of how much extra damage these things do you might feel a little bit more reluctant to go in right 46 per right and then the three but yeah you're very tanky you can ignore it ignore it but ash can't really ignore it right pretty good trade they maybe consider letting the wave push out I, that's what i can say yeah the words are good we see Silas. So this is a good time to uh gank kill they do your uh mechanics are nice find your spells it's really good and got, got lost mid game so in the mid game this is, we're approaching we're approaching mid game it's still early early mid okay so here you've matched so this is this is a a movement that you can avoid by taking a more of account on the lane dynamics so you can see that coming so this is how you do it so you back buy your item bing 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 whatever around here you look down and as you're walking down try to take a mental note of what jinx is doing okay seems like she's just lasted oh she's pushing now right while she's pushing like this she's okay now she's pushing pushing we know that the wave will ultimately crash under turret and ash will be safely farming here right it's just gonna happen naturally based off what jinx is doing right so with this assumption here instead of going bot lane taking so much time through the through the bot side of the map to go mid we go directly through mid but this is this is the thing that you're, you're actively thinking in the mid game actively thinking about these situations coming up and you're making the effort play these situations it's so easy for the player you'll see it even platinum emerald players just they swoop down here and then they turn left right and it's that time they've lost so much also is is leona really buying uh uh what kind of boots is leona building i think it might be mobis right mobis or swifties yeah, mobies, 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 right? Because you're you're ro roaming for those timies, mobies, mobies. You're not, you don't want to do the tanker, the tank build with Leona. When you're playing roaming support, you want to have the mobility to allow you to get places quicker, right? So just keep keep that in mind. If you're building tank, you're building support incorrectly for solo queue. The solo queue, you're gonna be roaming more in comp play you might see less of a roaming style from leona's because the other team are taking way more accounts on what leona is doing where her whereabouts are is she back at base is she have does she have a roam time so you the opportunity to have those roam times are just less there right so you only went mid here because you saw lux it's a reaction nary play as opposed to making the pro actionary play, right? So this is just a concept that you have to understand, right? Concept you have to understand.
So you kind of you kind of made a uh, obvious movement here, right? So just look at it from their point of point of view. Deluxe here, right? But they see they they see you. They ping it. They see you again. Silas stops the back. And it's free, right? We we avoid we avoid this. Honestly, I didn't even know Silas was here, so I don't really have much to say about this play. Good flashy escape. Though. It shows that you have mechanics, but it, the movement for this, as opposed to moving straight down or even moving around here looking for the play. That's the error here. And then you see Lux. Honestly, I would have done I probably would have done the same play. Just walking back. That's good mechanics. You dodge dodge the Lux Q, dodge the Lux saw. That's good. How does she die here? What the fuck is she doing? Yeah, this is not your fault, yo. She. One thing you could have done is you could have immediately pinged her back. Bing, 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 bing. Because she has no idea that Silas is here, right? She had. She had no idea that you just got railed. When you're getting railed here, after you flash out, ping back immediately. Because this guy, these guys won't know, right? Even though it seems like obvious. Uh, these guys just don't know, right? He literally didn't know what just happened there. And it's not your fault, but you could have helped by pinging. That's all you could have done there, right? So that's a miss ping. Miss ping, miss ping. And if this guy's playing muted, then literally can't do anything about it. He plays full mute. Good, good, good. I'd, I'd much rather have you uh, quick boots here, mobility boots or shifties. Okay, ping the Mia and then play for turret. Immediately start striking turret. Oh, you gotta hit turret, bro. You get it though? Yeah, we did get it. Okay, good. We didn't get it, or if we missed, missed, missed it because we're not autoing, it's not good. And there's, no, there's no way you could have got two. So your movement's good here. Good, good, good. But it's a it's 160 gold per, right? So if we're missing plates, it, like if we weren't able to get the the first plate and it's off by a sliver, then we're uh, we're troll we're trolling a little bit. Miss gold, right? It seems like Rengar's coming coming to gank. I would, oh uh, yeah, I would do this. Try to push the wave, and I'll try to auto wave, auto, 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 auto. Good, 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 auto, auto. And go hide. I'd go hide. So when when we when we hide here. It seems like Ash is alone. These players, they have short atten attention spans and they might walk up and do a mistrade. And if they do, if she does walk up just a little bit, we're popping her, right? But by standing here, we're scaring her off the, the, mis the misplay, right? Hide, 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 go hide. Like, why aren't you hiding? Oh, they just missed opportunities. Look how dumb she plays. Just, this is a game sense thing, right? But next time this opportunity comes, I, I'm sure that you won't uh, drop it. Okay, 
Good. Good. Wait for the wave, please. Wait for the wave, wait for the wave, wait for the wave. Uh, what are we doing? Okay, so we know Lux is here. Wait for the wave. And if waiting for the wave takes too long, we don't make the play. Also, when you dive and when you make plays like this, you have to take note what your mid lane is doing. Like if your mid lane is back and you're all the way up here trying to dive without a wave, you're trolling. You're straight up just trolling. So yeah, I can see the play and you're hungry for the kill, right? But you need to take it a little bit more patience, right? Help her push the wave and then go in, right? Okay, maybe you want to set up the flank here so she doesn't just run away, right? That's fine too. But we're not wasting our spells. We're not taking turret shots. And we're definitely not doing this in the future, right? So this is a game deciding play right here by you. And this is by you, right? Everything up to up until this point, we're winning really hard. Even though we missed the level 2 timing early, we didn't even play for it, we're still ahead somehow. But now we're just losing the game, right? We're straight up just losing now, right? And Ash even had alt coming up soon, right? So this is just miss patience, right? Again, so the, you have more patience in your play. Patience here with that gank. Patience with the wave, for letting the wave get pushed in. Patience with this dive, 100%. Okay, yeah, I don't need to. I don't need to go over it again, right? Just look at it. Think about it. Don't do it again. Now here, bing, bada, boom. Um, I'm gonna say you had trouble in the mid game, so I'm gonna just try to keep helping you. It's okay. Get a deeper ward in, man. Get a ward on the camp so we can see what, where the jungle is when he's doing a camp. And then don't just, don't sweep one bush. Try to sweep multiple areas. <laughs> this guy just sweeped what you swept. Kind of funny. But yeah, yeah you, you could have fucking placed way more wards, man. Don't just play one. Don't just place one. If you have opportunities to place deep, place them deep. Alt. Someone use the alt. Good. Where's that? How is Ash always at low HP? <laughs> Ash is always okay. You can't do you can't do much about this player, but you probably might have gotten quicker. You might have been able to get there faster with your Moby boots. You might have actually been able to save her. That's just a, a thought, right? As opposed to sitting on this, sitting on that. Miss timings, so yeah, a little bit missed timings. Where have I seen this? Getting deja vu with this, oh brush. Terrible game. Game's annoying. This game is annoying. I'm getting stressed out watching this game. Hey, bro, just. You need to start placing a little bit more deeper wards, yo. But you need to understand why you're placing those wards, right? You're placing these wards so your jungle and your teammates can see ro enemy rotation. We can see their camps. We can start stealing camps. We can start setting up dives. You know exactly, okay, we have seven seconds on the dive because this guy started moving and we see the wards, right? But when you just place the ward right here, not really giving much information to your team. I mean, sure, yeah, these, these, word, these words are okay. I like this one a lot. 
just like this one. This one is fine. See, but that's why I was going to place the deep rewards, right? Deep rewards make that happen. It was kind of deep, but like you're, uh, you're it's like you're a little bit afraid to go a little bit deeper and place those rewards, right? Maybe you feel like you don't have enough time, and the mobility swifty boots give you those time, that timing, right? The extra second or something. Thinking this when the jungler is dead is not right. Is that you placed it? Yeah. Thinking it when the jungler is dead is not right. They're not gonna contest it. It doesn't they they should assume that you guys are on this, right? So we can just move this pink, place it somewhere else. It's like we want to snowball the game, right? How do we snowball? We snowball by as support by placing deeper wards and start making plays on the map, right? So pink ward in there, pink ward in here, or pink ward even better in here. Right, you do have the pink word in here, but it's like a 70 gold wasted, right? If we are spotted, then we need to back up now. Because they're probably all coming. We're throwing because we're not waiting for the wave. As soon as these, these guys spot you, the play is done, man. I'm like... Half your team's at your base, right? This is just such a common misplay. Don't don't go for dives when your half your team's at the bait in base. And it's like it's such a risky dive because like you don't even have a wave. We're just going for it, right? There's not hey, there's not much thought into this. The the thought is like, oh we got spotted, now we have to make a play. That should never be the And, and again, if you had deep rewards already down, you probably would have seen this all coming beforehand, right? Then we go up, not... Then we go up, not down into them. Mm, movement's a bit poor here. All of this is just... This is how you throw games, right? What, what? What are we doing? Why? What the hell? Alright. That's a tough one, man. That's a tough one. There's no expl explanation there other than just the greater man, I guess. Control major calm. Like that ward. You need to get used to dropping deeper wards. What is this? There's no explanation to that play. But there's also... This is, this is just getting awkward, right? So this is getting to the point where it's like... You're knocking yourself in the head. You're getting frustrated. You know, you're playing League so many games. Maybe not you because you don't play rank that much. But it's like, how do I get out of this ELO? It's just impossible. You know, I play perfectly all, you know, I play near perfect the entire game and my brain guard just throws instead of taking Dragon. And then, fuck, I did Ash have been feeding all game. But in reality, it's like, fuck all this. Everything after this, everything before this. It's all early game, man. Soul Q is all early game, right? I probably would have backed for wards and more HP while my teammates were at base, at base but now it's a bit too late. Again, your wards are just not that deep at all. You like this, uh, I like your positioning there, kind of. Now we just have no wards here. No. You need a ward at the entrances. So your your ward you need work on your warding for sure. Your warding needs a lot of work. And then we're starting Drake while we have someone at base. This is just such a common mistake from low your low players. We're doing Drakes while people are at base. And it's like this is how we lose games, right? Like I wouldn't be surprised if everyone on your team just dies here. And Nar is topside. What the fuck? I'm quiet, you know. Yeah, it's just a testament to the ELO. Yeah. 
I just don't think I don't think we should we should have ever started that Drake. We somehow came out ahead. Cause like when you do when you do Drake, you have to understand that the Drake is dealing damage to you guys, right? So it's like a it's like a it's like a champion worth the damage over time. So when you're get, getting poked down and, and it's like a you're fighting a five v four, right? And if you don't get this Drake, quiet, you can just quiet, right? It's just a super gamble gambly play that doesn't need to be done. But it's just a low elo play, right? And like even if you ping them off, they might not even listen, but I'm just trying to show you the mistakes that these uh, these players are making constantly every game. Hard to watch these games, yes, straight up. Because I feel like games are one and lost in uh, early game. So these these words are a little bit nicer. There needs, yeah, there needs to be a little bit more method method to your warding. This is this is finally, you know, finally. That's what happens when we ward, right? But like, again, we're we're taking fights. When we're at Rangers at base. You just have to be very cautious about these plays, right? These are, these are so flippy, flippy, flip, flip, flip plays that like they're gonna work sometimes and they're gonna fail hard sometimes as well. And when they fail hard, you just lose the game. And when they work, it's like we don't. It's not guaranteed that we win, but even a little advantage off like a bad play. They're absolutely quiet. Oh, you know? nice job. No, bro. Big didn't hit him back up. We don't need to do this. Leave, leave, leave. Go bot. You need to direct your team. Be a leader in solo queue. Don't be, don't be a follower. This is just being a follower, right? I would have pinged my team. Okay, back off. Reset for the Drake or push bot. Spend the gold that we have. We all have gold. Everyone has gold. Now we're just throwing, right? And and you went you went e forward. You wanted more, yo. Madman, you're a mad mantis. This is just throws, right? Well, not just throws. It's just that it's like an inability to understand the situation at hand or predict the future a little bit, right? There's no future sight within your team. It's just all within the now. That's how it is in solo queue, right? Yeah, this is. You need to you need to lead your team a little bit more. Ping him back. Don't like we need to you know ping him back. We're not taking this. This is not our Drake. We took too long here. We took the inhib. We didn't back for Drake. Now and we died. No, we don't get it. Right? We don't we don't throw now. And then let let me guess. Someone else is gonna die very shortly after, and then we're gonna lose Baron, and then we're gonna lose the game. Like I said, these 50-50 plays that we take when someone's at base is the same 50-50 plays that we take uh, when someone's at base and the dragon's up. So yeah, I, I can just I can just stop the video here, right? Because there's no there's no leadership in the team, right? No one's gonna take control of the game and say, hey, this is what we need to do to win through pings and and uh, good play, right? It's just all retardation at this point. So I'm gonna just leave it there. Hopefully this helped, and uh, I want to see more of your games. Good luck on the rift as always. Peace.